Hey guys, the Frugal Gal here. This is going to be a different video. It's not about jewelry. So if you're here for jewelry, you can, um, I guess you could stop the video and stop watching. I don't know. But um, I've talked about before people have commented on some of my videos where you see me wearing nail polish. Um, what I use, and I'll tell them it's Color Street. And this is, this is what Color Street is. This is what it looks like when you buy it. Um, I have a representative of the company. It's a direct sales company. Um, similar to like Avon or Acti Labs or some other companies like that or Tupperware that you do home parties or you sell it through a website. So I have my own representative. I've been thinking about um, becoming a representative, but I don't know if I... I've joined a lot of direct sales places and it really hasn't been worth my time. I haven't made a lot of money at it. So um, Barbie of Barbie Crafts had asked me to do a video showing how I put these color strip nail strips on. Now what makes these nail strips different than other ones is they are 100% real nail polish strips. So this is nail polish on here. It's not just like some things you buy and they almost feel like there are stickers going on you going on your nails and they're not. The real nail polish. You get 16 long lasting and I will contend that they are long lasting. A double ended strips and they are made in the USA. Um they are, some people have said they're kind of expensive, which I think the, the normal colors run about $11 and then the the glittery runs run a little more. But you get, you might get a lot of buy two, get one free offers on the websites. And really, if you guys are going and getting your nails done professionally, it is very affordable, much more affordable. So I'm going to show you how I put these on. When you open it up, this is what you get with each, pack, each package. You get a little nail filer. You get these... Um, nail prep pads which are like alcohol prep pads and then you get your strips and your strips are um, contained in this um, vacuum sealed package so once you open these up and use these if you don't vacuum package them back up and you think oh well I'm going to save them and I'm going to use them another time I've tried that and these nails will dry these nail polish will dry out I have heard some people say that you could take like a um, like your hair dryer and put some heat to them and then make them go back on. I haven't tried that yet. But so what you do is you, we're just going to, I'm just going to show you how, how I put them on and some recommendations from my consultant that she's given me on how to do this and how, how it works the best. So when you get them out, you'll notice the strong smell. What you'll notice right away is they smell like nail polish. Like when you open a bottle of nail polish. The color that I am using today, I forgot to show you, is called uh, Windy City. Now, I would suggest that if you're going to order these, what I like to do is don't just go by the color that they look like when you see them on um, the website. Go and search some Google images for people who are actually wearing them because a lot of times I've noticed when ordering these, like these are coming off really purple. Uh, I notice a lot of times when I get these, they look a lot different when you the color of them looks a lot different on your nails than they do just in the picture shopping form. So this is called Windy City and it's kind of a grayish um, purple and it's really nice. I've had it on some of my other videos. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take one of these nail prep pads and um, I hope I'm not too close to the camera but I can't reach with my arm. And you want to go over each one of your nails. Just rub your nails to make sure they're clean. And these are my natural nails. So I will tell you that I am putting these on natural nails. And then uh, that one broke, so that one's going to be shorter than the rest of them. And put that to the side because you're going to use that again. So this is what you get. You get these strips. There's three, six, so there's eight on each one. Sorry if I'm hitting the camera. Um, and you're just going to start peeling them off. I pretty much have done this enough times that I know which one's going to fit each one of my fingers. The biggest one usually fits the thumb. And what you do is just take it and kind of measure it, and you want to make sure that you want to kind of roll your finger to measure it back and forth that you're going to get that it's going to cover completely your finger because there's one bigger than this see there's that one and there's one bigger and I think I'm going to use the one that's the biggest for my thumb because I want it to go all the way over so the first thing I do is there's a clear plastic strip on this that you peel off like that throw to the side I'm only going to do a few of these guys and then I'm going to like fast, like finish my nails and then show you the end product. So you're not sitting here for like 
25 minutes watching me pull, put these on. Now, the next part I do is I peel off. There's a like a cardboard backing, paper backing, and this is the actual nail strip, the, the nail polish strip. I peel it off, and you're going to have a perforated line there with this little tag part. Take that off, put it to the side, and then you're going to decide which end you want to put on your nail. I'm going to see how that works on there. I kind of start over to the side. I don't think I like that and I think it's too wide. So I'm going to turn it over and do this end. Yeah, I think that ends better. And I put it right by my cuticle because if you don't and almost if you don't when your nail grows, you're going to you're not going to be able to keep them on as long because and then I kind of use my other nail to push it down and smooth it out. See how I'm smoothing it out as I go? Now what's great about this is see you can see a little bit of my nail there is you can peel these back up and what I, I do is you can kind of tug on them tug on the side and stretch it out and they stretch and then I smooth it down really well all along the edge of your natural nail or if you've got um, acrylic nails on or whatever you got on. Now what the what the directions will tell you to do is to like file the rest of it off. I haven't found that to be a good way to get them on and to get the so you've got all this overhang. You can actually use this on another nail. I've done it before. I did kind of take my nail that's on my other finger, my thumb, and I take it to the end because it's all smooth. And I make it go under my nail. See how I'm doing that? Make it go under my nail. So I know it's got it completely covered. And as I'm doing that, it's cutting it this slightly. And it's going to make it like a perforated where it can be tore. And then I see I tear it off. So then I've got, and then I just keep pressing it down. And one tip that my, that my, the lady that I buy mine from, the distributor that I buy mine from, she said if you want to get them to stay on there smooth and last, take your alcohol swab, 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 is that right? Yeah, swab pad, and go over it after you've got it on, like that. And that helps it to stick down. And it really works. I didn't, I thought, really? And when she told me that? And see how that is just on there and it looks like you've painted that nail? So Barbie, that's what you were wondering. That's how I get mine on. And I kind of go over. Now I'll do another one so you can see not just the thumbnail. And um, so the next one, these come in all different sizes because of course all of our fingernails are different sizes. So you just kind of, I just kind of tear them off here and go and, and you take them like this and you kind of look to see. And like I said, you always can, one end's going to be a little less wide than the other one. I think this one's perfect for this one. So I'm going to peel, again, I'm going to peel off the clear strip. And then I'm going to peel off, take by the silver tab right here, get a hold of that and peel off the actual nail polish strip and then throw that to the side. And then I take off that little perforated piece. And I'm going to look. I'm trying to do this and look and make sure you guys are seeing what I'm seeing too. I don't think that end's going to work. I'm going to try this end. What I love about these is they're adjustable. If you get them wrong like that, like I put it on wrong, boom, just take it right back off. Get it right underneath your cuticle. This might be a little big for this finger. Now I think it's going to work well. And then I just press it on down around your natural nail. Kind of use your other nails to, to crease it in there so it looks like you've painted your nails. Keep pushing it. And I'm pushing it and, and moving it that way out to smooth it. And then see it's over the edge. So we're going to smooth it over the edge and kind of make it go underneath with your other fingernail now when I was putting these and then kind of and then you just press it down now like I'm saying I've got of course I've got nails on these other fingers so I can push it around the edge if you don't you have real short nails and I had real short nails when I first started using these just take a good fingernail filer like this like a metal one I find the metal ones work the best and do the same thing I'm doing with my nail with a fingernail filer. Go underneath it 
and 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 then you can get it off. And you got that little piece left. And if you be real careful, you can use those over. And see, and now it's all smooth. And I'm gonna take my alcohol prep pad, swab pad, like I called it for, and see, and that's gonna stay on there. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna shut this off, and when I come back, I'm gonna have all of them done. So I hope that helps you guys. And I'll be right back to show you all my full set. Okay? Thanks, guys. Okay, guys. I am back. I have got the full set on. And as you can see, I think they look really nice. Um, so that's it. That's how I put my color street nails on. Nail strips on. And, um... They're much better that I think than trying to paint your nails if you're like me and you're really sloppy at painting nails. So I think they look pretty dang nice. What do you guys think? Should I buy into it and become a consultant? Would you buy them from me if I did? The other thing I don't like about it is that they charge you to have a website every month and I just really don't like that idea. But um. I will tell you if you want to order some of these, I can give you my consultant's name. Throw some business her way. She's a real nice lady. She actually lives in, um, I want to say Minnesota or Wisconsin. I think Wisconsin. But there you go, guys. Color Street. They are the best. I will. This one's. Uh, you got to poke them sometimes down there. I don't know if this one's right. This might be a good example of this one doesn't look like it's on there quite right. I have some left over, so I might do that one over. I don't know. I think it kind of looks too big. It's not wanting to stay down. Yeah, see, it's kind of peeling up. Let's take that one off and do that one over. And that's the great thing about these is that you can do them over. Let's do it with this one. See? Perfect example. Nobody's perfect. You don't get it done right the first time. Just try, try again. Like that little... Little golden book you had when you were a kid. Do you remember it? I do. I had it. Little engine that could. Was it a name? Tootie? It's a terrible name for the engine. Tootie. Okay, that one's better. See, that one works better. That other one was a little too big I put on there. But that's great. You have some left over. That's why you got extra. And I got more than that extra over there. Put it on the sides with it like that. Take it up here and... Get it off. There we go. Alcohol pad. That one looks better like that. I like it better that way. See, that one looks better. Let's see? Now I'll have my nails done for my next video of unboxing jewelry. Awesome, guys. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, there you go, Barbie. That's how I put on my nails. Hope it helps you. Bye-bye.